What's up, guys? It's boy Justin here with a. Uh... Oh man, <laughs> drop some stuff. Yeah, with uh, another graphic novel review. I was gonna take a break from graphic novels reviews uh, till New Year's Eve, but you know what? I've been watching a lot of Comic Book Palace. Which you haven't watched Comic Book Palace? It's a YouTube channel on YouTube. Uh, where it's about basically, basically they film stuff that ha that goes or goes on in this comic book store called Comic Book Palace from Boston, Massachusetts. It's where that Glenn guy is from, who was interviewed by Mark Millar. Which oh man, that guy, that guy's like man, I would love if he was my uh, local comic book guy. The guy has a lot of personality. So yeah, I. He, Watching this channel put me back in the mood to read comic books, which I was going to take a little break. But yeah, you know what? You know, Dark Side of this Comics does reviews every day. I can do a review every day. Though I'm going to take breaks on the weekends. <laughs> uh, so yeah, today I'm reviewing four Iron Man God Complex. This is a Marvel Premiere Edition. This is age, rated A ages uh, A for eight, all ages, I guess. This goes for 20 US, 22 Canadian, written by Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning, the, to the team who who did the Guardians of the Galaxy, and illustrated by Scott Eden. This collects issues 1 through 4 and has a spotlight. So yeah, this is basically a... By the way, Merry Christmas, everybody. I forgot to mention that, but Merry Christmas. Sorry, Mer Merry Christmas. Even though I'm, I'm, this is on the 26th. I don't know if I said that last... Uh, Review Merry Christmas, but yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. So yeah, we're reviewing uh, this book, and uh, yeah, I hope you all had a good Christmas. So yeah, so basically, this book takes place after the siege, and uh, the High Evolutionary has teamed up with Ulick the Troll, uh, Crimson Dynamo, and Diablo. Who's, if you know who Diablo is, he, he, his special power is transmutation. He's basically, he's basically Faust. If you ever, if you know who Faust is. So basically this takes place after Siege. Iron Man is helping Thor rebuild Asgard, which at this point Asgard's on Earth. Because Asgard was destroyed at Ragnarok. And all hell breaks loose. Volstagg's dragon. Uh, breaks uh, is broke free and is trashing the place. Uh, Steve Rogers w warns uh, uh, Iron Man of this uh, potentially po potentially global uh, crisis that is happening in Russia, where he gets ambushed by Crimson Dino, who and they're all working for the High Evolutionary because the High Evolutionary. Uh, is trying to make a god for the modern age, and he needs both Iron Man, Iron Man, and the uh, stuff. Well, the destroyer armor that Four possesses. So yeah, you get some one-on-one -on -one battles. You got some thefts here. The the high evolutionary, even high uh, high evolutionary is one of those villains where he's like. He's not necessarily a bad guy, but he's not necessarily a good guy. But he, he's kind of, he's basically a futurist where he's trying to uh, take humanity to the next step of evolution. Unlike with the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie, the third one, he is not an alien. He was from Earth, right? For people who don't know. Uh, and yeah, so basically, like, he he's trying to recruits Iron Man to be the vessel for the new god who's going to bridge him like the modern humanity and the ancient mysteries that religion uh, represents and bridge them together but yeah Iron Man is not does not want to go through this and like four is on a quest to bring to get back the destroyer armor so yeah we get like we get backstory on like you know high evolutionary. We also get backstory on the Diablo, which apparently I liked how Diablo they gave Diablo's backstory and he, apparently he knew El Cid, which is a historical figure who was played by Charlton Heston in one of the and like in El Cid movie, 
And they kind of make Elson look like Charlton Heston. <laughs> At least I'm thinking it was Charlton Heston. I, I, I could be wrong. But that, doesn't that look like Charlton Heston? Oh my god. Yeah. So basically, I don't want to spoil it, but basically, you know. Uh, I've, I evolutionary gets betrayed, and it turns out Diablo wants to be the new wants to be the new god, right? He wants godhood. Apparently, that was his whole goal in life was to become the god, uh, become a god. And also, Donald Donald Blake makes an appearance. Yeah, so I, I won't spoil everything. So I enjoyed the book. Um, the art was very good, though it's very much reminding me. Like, the, the art is more suited for, like, I would say for, like, something like Ultimates. But then, like, if you read the ult later Ultimate books, they went for more cartoony art style. For that, some of them. They should have stuck with the, with the realistic art style, which this guy, Scott Eden, has. So when he's drawing, like, more of the cartoony characters, it do his art style doesn't really match. But his art was good, you know. Uh... Oops. Yeah, I enjoyed the book. The dialogue was, uh, like, Four's dialogue was not good. Like, sometimes he would say stuff, and I'm like, like, because he has the archaic, you know, vernacular or whatever, vernacular or whatever you call it, uh, he is, is, it was hard to tell, like, was he speaking correctly or was that nonsense? Like, some of the lines did not make sense to me. <laughs> Oh, and I've read, like, four comics. We, I, we review, like, a couple on the channel. I think I reviewed, like, out of three or four. Uh, but, yeah, so, I I don't know. I enjoyed, as a crossover book, this was good. It was a sh it was short. I don't know if I would say this was wor worth, what was it, like, 20, I would say 20 bucks. Uh, this, I would say it's worth 20 bucks, but I would pay more than 20 bucks. So if yeah, if you're a fan of Thor and Iron Man, check it out. But and maybe if you're a fan of the duo, uh, Andy Lanning and uh, Dan Abnett, you know this this was a decent read. It's a seven out of, seven out of ten. I mean, it was a good read. It was a fun read. But yeah, I kind of like that the you know the villain, the main villain is more nuanced. But then of course, like I. I did see the betrayal, the Diablo b betrayed him, like, like, coming from a mile away, man. It was, like, it was very telegraphed. But other than that, good book. Really enjoyed it. Though I was kind of like, shouldn't, like, Thor and Iron Man still hate each other at this point? But then again, like, we've had, like, two crossover events from, like, s since Sil Civil War and, like, Four really hated Iron Man after Civil War. But I guess Siege happened. Maybe he didn't. Like, he doesn't hate him so much. I don't know. But yeah, that's it for this review, guys. Our next review is going to be Astro Bots Issue 5, which I already recorded that review. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Peace.